Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Prof1. Please, if this is your first time watching my video, please check the subscription button and subscribe. My name is Prof. Uh, in this video, I will demonstrate a typical example of um, dry friction in engineering mechanics problem. Thank you. So now let's start with this. The question given to us is this is the question given to us. Determine whether the block shown below in, is in equilibrium and find the magnitude and direction of the force when P is 150 Newton. So now they've given us P to be 150 Newton. And this force, this is the external force pushing this block up. And we are checking that whether this block will be in equilibrium. So there's a force also acting on the block. And the block is moving at an inclined angle of 20 degrees. How do you resolve this? First, when drawing uh, when uh, resolving this of trying to find the magnitude and the direction of the friction force, what you need to know is now. Since this is an incline, your x and y also will be an incline. So let's check something. So this is our x coordinate, that's a positive, and the negative will be at the other side, moving in that direction. The y coordinate, that's a positive y, and the negative y moving in the other direction. And also the external force also will be inclined at 20 degrees. Since it's pushing it up, it will also be an at an inclined angle of 20 degrees now you see this force also coming down it is also using the uh, law of transmissibility it is coming down so now this is the diagram or the free body diagram to get before we start with this so now when you use principle of transmissibility this force is coming here so to come here and there's an external force acting away and this is inclined at 20 degrees so when resolving this we have when resolving it this angle will come here now we have a force acting opposite to the direction of the external force so this is the friction force that is f and we have a normal acting to the way the distance away from the uh, the force acting in the middle so this can be the weight actually this is the weight acting at the center of the block so this also is the normal now we now know this force here to be 20 degrees so we are going to resolve in x and y component on x component since it to be in the negative s component we got we we'll have negative 150 newton cos 20 because the force p is 150 and the y will be negative 100 and because it's in positive and it is in the negative and the both negative and negative quadrant. So all of them will be negative, negative. And let's label this to be Q. So this force is Q. Actually, it's the weight, but let's label it to Q. So when this force comes here, it also be an incline and it will be 20 degrees. So if here is 20 degrees inclined, here will be 70 degrees. Mostly we work with the force that deals with. Um, the positive x or the negative x component so when you do that the correct way you're going to get the qx to be 50 uh 500 cos 70 that's 500 cos 70 and the ky sorry this is supposed to be y so the ky will be 500 negative 500 because it will be in the negative quadrant as you can see so negative 500 sine 70 so after that what you are trying to find is you are trying to find f but we cannot find um uh, unless we resolve it and get the relationship and use the uh, equilibrium that is the sum of forces in x component being equal to zero and the sum of forces in y component being equal to zero so what you do is now is we are going to find the sum of forces moving the s component to be equal to zero so you know that f is moving the positive s coordinate p is negative plus 
and kox is positive so you are going to get this therefore when you resolve it correctly you get the force to be 30 negative 30.056 newton therefore the answer will be this force acting in the opposite sense so it means that the frictional force this force is supposed to act in this direction so the negative is just showing you the direction so make sure when you finish solving it and you, you can leave your answer in this form or you can leave it in a form with the arrow showing the direction it is going now we are done with the friction force and the angle will be 20 degrees that is the direct angle with 20 degrees now they said determine whether the block shown is in equilibrium so we are supposed to determine whether the block shown is in equilibrium and the magnitude and direction of the friction force so now we know the friction force to be 30.056 newton and it is acting opposite of the direction i chose after we are going to check whether this force is in equilibrium for forces to be for the above block to be in equilibrium now the friction force must be less than the maximum static friction that is f should be less than f max and we know f max is the coefficient of static friction times the normal so now we need to find the normal by resolving it in a, a y component which is the sum of forces in the y component b equal to zero when you do that the correct way you get and moving the opposite direction minus 500 newton sine 70 degrees minus 150 newton sine 20 degrees and you get n to be 521.14 newton so we have our n now we try finding the f max to check whether f max is greater than f if it that is so it means that the block will be in equilibrium so let's do that now we know that our uh, uh that the maximum static friction is goes to the coefficient of static friction times the normal so we have our normal and we have our static the coefficient of static friction to be 0 0.3 so we put that inside and that's what we get that is 0 0.3 times 521.14 newton which will give you 156.32 newton if we check the force the f max is greater than the f therefore if f max is greater than f or f is less than f max this block will be in equilibrium so as you can see the block is in what it is in equilibrium thank you very much for watching this video please